Welcome back everyone, and here are the photos to vote on. Cast your vote by clicking the poll at the top right corner, or leave a comment below of your favorite photo. Now, let's take a look at the other photos. Today we are going to create DIY Halloween photo cards with these Halloween decorations. I'm going to use some flashlights to help create shadows by clipping them onto my tripod. Here you can see my setup for the pumpkin photo. I have it laying down with some candles behind it. Next, for the clown, I just have the flashlight pointing at its face. For the witch, I hung it on my ceiling fan and just used that as a light source, which created a nice shadow on the face. Next, I did the same type of thing with this one with the flashlight. With the skeleton, I hung it outside on my bird feeder to give it a different effect for the background. And finally, the ghost I hung from the tree to try and get the glare of the sun rising behind it. Now let's see how they turned out. Start the music. Alright, let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you some before and after. With the pumpkin, I just added some orange tones and contrast. The witch, I just changed the temp to more of a blue slash purple and increased the saturation. The clown is probably my least favorite. I increased the highlights and vibrancy. I also darkened the nose. This goblin I gave more clarity to, increased the highlights and saturation. The skeleton had the most dramatic change. I decreased the temp to more of a blue, added 100% clarity to the bones, added some light streaks to the background, and increased the contrast. With the ghost, I increased clarity on the face and added a hint of purple. I also increased the contrast, highlights, and shadows. Next, I bring in the photos into my old version of Photoshop. Here you can see I added a black fade to the bottom of the pumpkin and wrote Happy Halloween with a gradient. Not hard at all. With the goblin, I added a teal splatter brush to blend in with the hair. Here's what the brush looks like on a white background. Then I added the text in purple. With the skeleton, since most of the work was done in Lightroom, all I needed was to add the text. I also added a line just to make it different. Now, all right, there you have it. Don't forget to vote on your favorite photo by leaving a comment below or click the poll to vote. You can download my favorite out of these three photos and do whatever you want with the photo. Enjoy, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for upcoming macro photo adventures.